Hey everyone, I'm Brian. And I'm Nikki. And this is Cook It with the Codas. Maybe a little confusing because we do have some drinks here. We're drinking some margaritas because... Today we are going to make guac a mole. We are going to guac your world with this guacamole. It's going to be delicious and we'll have enough chips to dip in it later. That's <laughs> always important. The chip to guac ratio should not be missed out on. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm not guacking around here. So guacamole is famous for being made with avocados, which is why millennials aren't able to afford guacamole. <laughs> Yet somehow they single-handedly support Chipotle's year-over-year -year growth. Look at those sales. They do like their avocado toast though, so they make room for that. Man, you gotta budget where you can, and some things just need to fit in there. Anyway, I'm not guacking around today, so we're talking about our avocados that we're gonna use for this guac. With the avocado, you're gonna use a sharp knife and slice around the whole seed. With your knife, cut the seed in the middle so you can easily twist and remove it. Use a spoon, and you're going to peel all of that good avocado flesh out. To dice our half an onion, we are going to make a couple horizontal slices, then we're gonna make some vertical slices and finally chop all the way through. With our tomatoes, we are going to slice them in half, take those seeds out so that it's less liquidy, and slice vertically and then horizontally. With our jalapeno, we're gonna slice the top off and pull those seeds out with a spoon. If you like your guac spicy, you can leave some of those seeds on. <laughs> With the cilantro, you're going to slice off some of those thicker stems. Then you're going to roll up the leaves and fold them and then do some slices there so that you can get a nice fine chop. We have our garlic. We are going to use the flat edge of a knife so we can get the skin off of the garlic. Then you're going to make some vertical slices on the garlic clove and then some horizontal and you might want to mince it up a little bit more to get a very small pieces. And that's it! Just goes to show you sometimes you drink, I mean blink, right through something. Let's get mixing. As I said, it's always important to make sure you have a good chip guac ratio. This guacamole is a bit thicker. Uh, we do want to call this a chunky guacamole because there is a lot of tomatoes and onions. Uh, you can always decrease those ingredients if you want a little bit less chunk to your guac. And you can always change up the amount of the ingredients if you like a little bit more garlic or a little bit more cilantro or a little less onion, whatever it is, you can make it your own. But this is at least the basic recipe that we're providing for you and you can make adjustments. And it's important here to say too, you can be a creamy peanut butter person, but enjoy that chunky guacamole. So just be aware of that because I'm a creamy person generally, but this chunky guacamole is delicious. And just as a reminder, getting that homemade guacamole gives you a lot of those good unsaturated fats. So very good for your heart health and inflammation. Well, go get guacin. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like this video, turn on those notifications, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss a single episode. Don't be afraid to get guacky with it.